so this one, um, I don't really have a name for, and uh, I got kind of laughed at by other um, people in certain fields for even suggesting this a while ago. But it's essentially uh, an electric turbine that you attach to a regular car or vehicle, and as it's moving, um, or the example that I had was um, they could be installed on the rear view or I'm sorry, side view mirrors where they're already protruding and they're already blocking air uh, in a lot of ways. So I was thinking that if you install the turbine there on the mirrors, um, when the wind hits it as the car's traveling, it'll spin those turbines and charge a, a battery or motor of some sort to generate electricity. Um, and then the point being though, that after it gets filled up or since cars are driving all the time, there's so many of them and they're all burning this gasoline or electricity or whatever to, to move, um, that we could collect a lot of that energy and redistribute it back into the system. Uh, I had a few variations. One was like a bumper car type of style to actually like the older bumper car models used to have a large wire that went from the bottom of the car on the floor to the top where there was like an electric electrified uh, grid uh, that I assume provided power to the carts. Um, but what I'm trying to say is as these cars are driving and generating electricity through these passive motors uh, or generators, uh, wind turbines, uh, when they get to like a traffic light, for example, and there's all these uh, overhead um, electrical grid installations, uh, I was thinking that with a few minor uh, installments to existing infrastructure, you could disperse the built up electricity that's generated from these cars, wind turbines, back into the grid. So for example, somebody just drove three miles and their battery or whatever they've built up this charge is at maximum and they finally come up to a stoplight. Um, it could be either a retractable or permanent wire that sticks up out of their car to attach to the grid, but that essentially once it gets to that area and stops or passes through, that wire would touch and then disperse the energy to a system or whatever that could then feed it back into the grid. <clears throat> I don't think it would be expensive to build these wind turbines for cars, uh, since there's already so many cars on the road, millions or billions, I assume at this point, especially worldwide. Um, and it doesn't have to be just for cars. It's literally anything that just is moving. So trains, buses, all of these things that are using energy already can take some of that energy that's just wasted and bring it back. Um, the concept or idea for this was when I heard about how electric cars use the force of braking the car to recharge the battery. Um, having studied physics, I was alarmed to first realize that all these cars are exerting vast amounts of energy in various forms and that we don't collect or recollect any of it. We just let it drift off or get taken up by wheels and the road um, when they're stopping. And I just was appalled that there wasn't a system that could make energy from the car's energy that we're already, you know, providing so much into. So um, I know that there's a lot of cars have like alternators too that generate uh, and charge the battery up, but I'm also thinking that they could pro probably produce a lot more electricity if designed with my concept in terms of as you're riding, 
you know, obviously you want your battery to be charged, but anything after that should potentially charge a second battery or other device that can build up a charge or electricity of or energy in, in some form that can then be stored and transferred to, to the grid uh, in some way.